Hi, my name is Yutaka Takeuchi. I play Dave in Drive All Night, and you're listening to the film craziest show. Awesome. Thanks, Yutaka. And I am Daniel, the host of the film craziest show. Daniel. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so for having me. I talked with uh, I had talked with Lexi yesterday, and I learned that you guys like you were in a car, but the car wasn't actually moving when you were filming all those scenes. Mostly, no. Okay, what was that like? Um, when I personally watch a movie and someone is driving or someone is uh, pretending to be driving in a movie, and then they don't really focus on the road, I really, <laughs> I personally don't like it. I mean. It, it just drives me crazy. So I, since I didn't have to drive the taxi for real, but still I was so concerned about if I really look like I'm, I'm driving. And yeah, that, that was my biggest concern. And I, I, when I finally saw the movie, it, it looked okay. So, okay. I was I was glad it, but some some parts. I mean, I, I drove a little bit uh, for real. Drove that taxi. Okay. Do you do you need a special license to drive a taxi or not really? I mean, Peter got the license. Uh, I don't know what he got, but he uh, it was it was uh, it was valid. I mean, it was okay. It was okay to drive outside and. It was cool though. For anyone watching, I'm in a new room because I had bad inter internet connection. Um, so you're saying that Peter had got a license for the taxi? Yeah, he, I don't know if we, what, what he got was a license, but I think he registered the car. So I, yeah, that's why he let me drive a little bit. Okay, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. so, um, if you're a real taxi driver, I just I just had a fun. Uh, no, I mean, I'll, okay. Uh, then I have to tell you how the project actually uh, came up. I mean, got into my hands and the script. Okay. Uh, I was interested in driving with Uber. It just, it, just out of curiosity. I mean, I you know you 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 get to meet uh, people, a lot of different kinds of people. And I don't dislike driving. When I was in Japan, I didn't like it, but now here in LA, I kind of like driving. So anyway, I was interested in it, but I, it took me a while before I started driving. And I started driving with Uber like in August in 2019. And a few days later, really a few days later, the script came in through my manager. Okay. And she said, like, uh, this, this guy, Peter, he wants, he wants you to read this part, uh, script. And I read it. And the character Peter wanted me to play was a taxi driver. So, you know, oh, okay, wow, this is an uh, interesting coincidence. But I, th I think I'm meant to do this. I'll do it. And I, I you know, responded to him that I'm interested in doing it. And yeah, that's how he got started. And uh, yeah. Okay, nice. Well, what, what attracted you to the script? Uh, what attracted me? Uh, it was strange. I mean, I, I really, I, I can't say I fully understood when I first read it. So I asked, I wrote down so many questions as I was reading. And I asked Peter the, all the questions that he had really, mostly he had a specific answer. So at least I felt like, okay, he knows what he's doing. He, he has his vision. Uh, and yeah, and then I, I basically trusted what he wants to do. Um, but again, even on set, I wasn't able to see the entire movie in my head which i usually could uh because it's really specific and it's you know it's really stylized surrealistic and dreamlike movie it was kind of difficult for me to picture it but i trusted him and yeah 
Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm glad it didn't make sense the first time you read it. Cause for me, it, I'd, I had a lot of questions after the first time I watched it. So <laughs> <laughs> it, get, yeah. it got better on second read though, I guess, or just made a little bit more sense. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I understood the story that the Dave is in. It just the, uh, was hard to know what is really happening for real or what is happening in his head or in his dream. So even on set, I kept asking him, if, so if this is really happening or this is something that I'm imagining or, you know, that th those are the tricky parts. But the, the core story was, you know, was not so complicated to me. Okay. Now, I, uh, I was wondering, um, the Judy being a vampire, like when you first read that, like, did you think she was or not? <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, now, right now, I still don't know. And I, <laughs> but I thought it would be cool. If okay. she were really a vampire, well, it would be cool. And I remember that that's how I felt. Now, there's a, a big love for video games here. I'm just curious, do you have any favorite <laughs> arcade games? Uh, not the, uh, well, I used to play the Virtual Fighter. That's Which more like that? a Virtual Fighter. Oh. It's a, a fighting game. Um, but not, I wasn't a big fan of, I mean, I, I, I don't know, they, when the Mortal Kombat came out, but I wasn't really playing that. Uh, it was more like a playing a role playing game on on the uh, video game at home. Okay. I didn't spend that much money at the arcade place, as far as I remember. Uh, but yeah, definitely this movie has that flavor, like a video game or those old games flavor. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Did Did you have any favorite? Do you have any favorite video games in general? Uh, Dragon Quest that came out when I was in the elementary school and the characters were created by the creator of Dragon Ball Z and the music was cool. And I don't know, I, I really was into role-playing games a lot. Hmm. To come to think about it, maybe that's why I'm acting. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, like, just like to get into the well, role-playing game. So just... Yeah. <laughs> I guess uh, the role playing games kind of got you interested in acting in a way. Well, I mean, I didn't, when I first was attracted to being an actor, I didn't think about it, but that just because you asked me and I started thinking about, wow, well, well, how come I, I used to love playing role playing games? And maybe uh, something in me unconsciously, I had it, but that was not the reason that I decided to become an actor <laughs> in the first place. Okay. Well, do you remember the reason why you wanted to become an actor? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I can't remember the year, exact year, but I was inspired by the speech, award receiving speech made by Will Smith um, from I think Independence Day. Independence Day, he, he got some award and he gave a speech. I was working at the bar and it was on TV and I saw it and somehow it strikes me as fun. I, I just felt like, wow, that must be fun to be an actor in Hollywood. So I'll do that. And it took me a few years to you know, make money and save. And, and I landed in Los Angeles in 2000. And, then, and I got cast in The Last Samurai in 2002. So it took me about less than two years and actually uh, to start. Also, I just wanted to, like the surrealism in the film, mm -hmm. um, is that one of, is that something that drew you to it as well? Or was that just, what was that like for you? Like with all that surreal, surrealism? You, you, you mean the, uh, the shooting or the, to watch the movie or is an actor being on set? I or guess just um, reading, reading it, like what it was like for you. Oh yeah, that, um, those are the things that I had to ask him repeatedly. Okay. Yeah, because um, it's really, sometimes I'm, I'm sh I have to say, maybe sometimes he was even losing <laughs> the sense of reality or dream as he was writing because uh, so in one scene, there is something, this device in the scene, and the next time the same scene comes up, this device is not there. 
I asked him why it's in here, but not in here. And he wasn't sure why. <laughs> okay. So it was, I'm sure, a complicated process for even him to write such a surreal dreamlike scenes. What, what was the, what, what was it like on set when there was the blue in the red rooms? Was that cool? Oh, it was weird. Yeah, it was cool, but it was weird. It made me, definitely made me feel we, uh, strange and being in a, like some different dimension or something. That helped a lot for me personally. Okay. To, to, yeah, to, you know, play the character. Uh, what was it like for you while working with Sarah Dumont? She was always a present. She was so herself. Uh, I don't know if I should call it like natural. Or, but she was so herself. She wasn't... <sighs> it gets really complicated. But she wasn't acting. She was more like herself, which helped me to be myself and had a true, real moment, real feelings and yeah, it was it was great. I enjoyed it. Now with the with the Lexi, um, what was it like building the dramatic chemistry with her and the uh, romantic as well? Well, I mean, I spent a lot of time with her on set and especially in the car. Uh, it was really tiny space and being with her for the all day long. So I, I mean, I didn't do any anything anything special. I mean, we didn't do anything special, but I guess spending the time intensely in a closed <laughs> place for a long time helped us, <laughs> I guess. I just wanted to, to end on a fun one. Um, like if you were a real taxi driver and you had like one fare on your back, like who, what famous person would you want to, to drive around? Well, Will Smith. Will Smith? Yeah, I mean, I have to, yeah. I mean, I already met him and I told, uh, you know, you are the one who inspired me to be an actor. I told him in person, but I still, I mean, I need to speak to him more. Okay, where, where, where did you meet him? Uh, that was the uh, screening of the movie called Concussion. It, take, it took place at CAA in Los Angeles and they threw the after party a reception and then I, I went to the reception party and he showed up and I told his publicist that this story and then she said, well, you have to tell Will. And I told him and he was such a busy, busy guy um, um, at the party and I, I wasn't able to speak as much as I wanted to. So I need to, <laughs> yeah, I need okay. to speak to him more. Okay, nice. Um, were you nervous meeting him? Well, I'm more like excited. Okay. Yeah, like a little kid. Now, um, did, did you have anything else you wanted to add? I mean, I really want, I mean, you said you watched the movie, right? Yeah. So it's coming out this weekend on the 20th. It's going to be available um, online uh, through Cinequist. So I really want, it, it, I mean, a lot of people to, many people to watch it. I really... It's kind of sad that I cannot uh, feel the uh, uh, live audience vibe at the theater, but because it's virtually uh, screened, you don't have to be in a specific location. Anybody in the world can watch it from anywhere. Um, so I want, I really, you know, many people to watch it and I'm looking forward to hearing something nice. <laughs> okay. What, uh, what's that experience like for you? What does it mean for you to be, for it to be premiering this weekend? It's, it's, it's really different. As I said, like the past projects that I got involved when they were screened at the film festival, I usually went to the uh, location and sit in a chair, uh, sit in a seat and then watch the movie with the audience and feel the really the the vibe and then that really makes me feel like okay this the movie is completed now i'm experiencing it and whatever the feeling i have that's really uh like it, it really makes me feel okay this is the sort of the end of my job 
okay. kind of feeling. But now it's going to be screened virtually, and I, I don't really go anywhere. I don't really see any live audience. So I don't know. It's <laughs> I'm telling myself, okay, the movie is coming out this weekend, but I don't go to a theater. I don't go to a film festival. And so more well, like I'm reminding myself of it's coming out and getting myself excited. <laughs> okay. So you'll you just miss that experience really. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean by the end by the end of this year, I hope uh, I can attend any film festivals in person. Yeah, even me, I just want to go to the movie theater. I haven't been to one since last March. <laughs> Has it opened there? Because in Los Angeles, I think uh, this past weekend, the movie the theater opened. The movie, the movie theater in my city was open for, I think it opened on the 26th of February and now it's closed down again because we're going in the red zone. So I didn't get the chance really? to go. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So hopefully we can get to back to the movie theater soon. Oh yeah. I miss that experience so much. Me too. I would go like every weekend. <laughs> do you have something that you want to watch now i mean as soon as the theater is open honestly like if if the theaters were still open i wanted to i wanted to go see the new disney one the raya and the last dragon mm. but uh, like i wanted to have it like as like a year later from because that last mm. one i saw was onward so i wanted to have it as a year later but i didn't get that chance to <laughs> mm. i see I don't know which ones I'll like. It'll have to be a movie that's worth it to risk going, I guess. But I, I'm excited to go either way. I per personally, I just saw the poster of Godzilla versus Kong. Yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, although I mentioned it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 that, that's that, that's the only title that came to my mind, but I I, I don't know. <laughs> That one looks exciting, though. Is it? That one looks good, though, eh? Well, I mean, I... <laughs> uh, what time is it now? Because Godzilla... Uh, have you seen the real, the first one? The Godzilla, the black and white? No, I haven't. Okay, so the, the, the first one, when Godzilla was... The Godzilla was created and came out in Japan that was created by the the humans i mean we we created godzilla in the first place by like testing the nuclear bomb or hydrogen bomb or something okay so it's a really tragedy tragic story how godzilla was created and uh, i'm gonna spoil the first one sorry okay no worries at the end of the movie the godzilla was killed and I felt sad because we created this monster and we killed him. And it was really sad, but now the Godzilla became a character, like some monster. And now in the, I don't know if in this movie, the Godzilla is, a, is the antagonist. I mean, the yeah. good or bad, and I don't I, know, but- I think. Okay, I was just saying what, what, what it's saying? going to be like a big mo monster battle, right? Yeah, that, that party, yes, I'm excited. The monster battle part is really excited, um, for okay. sure, yeah. Uh, I, I think that's a great place to end off on, though, so I'll let you get... So, Yutaka Takuchi, for, uh, mm -hmm. who plays Dave in Drive All Night, thank you for coming on the Film Crazy Show to chat your film with me. Thank you very much for having me.